So we have the, took, taken a quiet little corner here at the GDC to talk to uh, Pavel from 11-Bit Studios about this war mining game that came out last year to great fanfare. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what that was like when it came out and all the reactions that you got? Uh, hello. So basically we did know that we've made a great job because we had the vision from the very beginning and we stayed close to the vision for the entire time. And I saw, for example, gaming interest, uh, gamers interested in it and press interested in it. So I knew there's some buzz uh, being made around the game, but I didn't expect that we can be that successful commercially and critically. So, so it was a huge success for us. Uh, you know, the game, I think we spent on, on the entire development and marketing probably something like $700,000. So for us, it's a, it's a big budget. And we've earned it in two days after releasing the game. So, so commercially, it was a huge success. And before the end of the 2014, we, we've really made big money. Uh, but this is like something we have to do because we uh, we make a living out of it. We provide families just, you know, from making and selling games, right? So this is obvious. But the critical success was something really uh, that I didn't expect to be that big and that positive because on Steam uh, there is 7,000 user reviews and 97% I think are positive. So this is overwhelming positive feedback. And most importantly, we've got emails from people from all around the world who have been through different conflicts and they supported us in what we do, said that we've made a good job and we should still be spreading the word and, and they sent a big thanks to us. So this is very rewarding when you do something, you know, it's a serious because after all it's a very serious game and then you hear from people that you, you've made it right, that the message was covered correctly without, you know, shallow shallowing or or make it trivial and we really wanted to avoid it because you know we would spoil the experience make it trivial so f this is for example why people ask us if we if we would deliver zombies no there's there's not going to be zombies in this game because we don't want to make it you know fun in a way like a f comedy I is funny we we want it st to stay a, a serious experience absolutely so speaking of that, sort of your plans on expanding the experience in the game, I understand you have some plans for that. Can you tell us a little bit about what what plans are ahead? Sure. So so far we have released two updates, and now we're tailoring the biggest update, and we're definitely gonna expand the, the experience a lot. Uh, I don't want to spoil too much, so there will be like new locations, new people. So uh, keep in please keep in mind that. Even the characters you have in your groups of civilians trying to survive the war in, in this war of mine, uh, you can play different because they have different characters. Like a fireman is a, a bit different guy than a teacher and, and you can play a teacher as well. So we will have new characters and that, will, that, that means you will have a different possibilities to tell your own story because in this war of mine it's a key fact that you can tell your own story. Uh, the way how you t make decisions, how you, you know, how you handle the civilians in, in surrounded by war, it tells your own story and it may end very, very different uh, according the, accordingly to, to how you play. So, so there are like lots of possibilities and we want to expand this. And this is one thing. And the other thing is a charity action that involves new content in the game. I want it to be a surprise. We've spent a lot of time on it. We did it. We did it completely for free because we want this DLC to be only oriented for charity, and I think it's going to be out really, really soon. So stay tuned for more news. Very interesting. It, how? It, because uh, I was a little bit surprised at at the sort of game that this War of Mine is coming from from your studio. It's not really sort of the kind of game that you've done before. Yeah. It, is is this sort of a, a new uh, approach for the studio, or will you still sort of? Uh, take that more um, sort of um, say action focused games like uh, like Anomaly to heart as well or, or are you more like a, a story studio these days? Uh, you know I think it's a uh, each time it's different because uh, we want to be competitive uh, with with on, on let's say on the market or, or in the industry via 
uh, unique gameplay ideas. So Anomaly was our idea to turn upside down a tower defense genre and we've made a few games in the series and by the way I'm completely exhausted with Anomalies so the last one was completely the last one, we closed the series. I mean I loved it but if you work a few years on, on one title it's, it may be a bit you know burning out so, so I, I am burned out on burnt out or on anomalies but in with this war of mine it's also a question of looking for a unique idea and on one of the meetings where we were brainstorming to have some new ideas it was actually my brother who's the CEO at 11bit and he brought this idea let's make a war game but about civilians about how war really looks like not not like in most of the shooter games uh, we know and we all were ignited instantly. Like I thought this is a brilliant idea and everybody was like it in, in the studio. Let's make this game. So, And in the next game we also want to create something unusual and mix some genres. We already have a really good idea which is in devel the development, uh, but it's too early to say about it. So I think it's like each time we want to look for some new areas to explore, uh, but I wouldn't say we always would make a serious games because then we would become like a director who always makes a movies about wars and we don't want to do that we it's like if if i would use this parallel that we want to be the director that makes a good movie each time but it doesn't need to be a war movie each time or action movie so so the next game i believe will be will be as good as this one but about a completely different topic and you're also working on bringing it over to tablets. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that process and how the game lends itself to, to pl play on, on tablet? Yeah, so we've started almost at the, the porting to tablets. We started porting to tablets when the PC version was released uh, last year in November. So it's one, two, three, four months from now, uh, from then. And we're almost done. I think we need like six maybe eight weeks to be to be done and uh, we're porting it one to one from PC version so that means we're not gonna bring it to smartphones because the screen is too small and you cannot see all the important details that allow you to engage in the experience so we totally skip smartphones we're making this for Android tablets and iPads and because the latest generations are so powerful, the entire process is not like usually that you need to scale down textures, models, you need to cut down shaders because tablets are not powerful enough. They are now. So we're bringing one-to-one -one from PC, yet it's a time-consuming process because the logic behind the game, artificial intelligence of, of NPCs and such, this is pretty complicated, so porting it to, to make it working flawlessly, it's time consuming, but but we're almost done. Actually, I have a pretty crushing build on my iPad I can show you later, uh, which is already working. Uh, and the big update we're, wo we're working on a PC now will be already included in the tablet version. So it's gonna be up to date. We're not making any differences. And if there would be a question about free to play or something so forget it it's gonna be a premium premium experience and we don't want to make any in-ups or something so we're not that kind of guys because a we have no idea how that market works b it would spoil this war of mine because i cannot imagine that you're trying to survive war and you can buy in up with more food that would be horrible for this game so there that's not the way it would it would be completely against anything that's in the game. Yes, absolutely. Uh, because, you know, this game is trying to picture reality in every possible level. And surviving war is extremely difficult, so this game is extremely difficult. But I, don't, I cannot imagine making it easier because uh, there's a money behind it. Like, we've made enough money to be happy, so we don't need to go to, to turn the experience how it looks upside down or something. So the tablet version is actually going to be one-to-one -one ported from PC. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much and greetings.